Well, hello there and welcome to the Accor Hotels Arena here in Paris for the bronze medal match of Euro Volley 2019. Louis Lett with you in the commentary box for a fixture that many thought may be the gold medal match. Poland versus France as some of the world's best players in action here at the Accor Hotels Arena. Well, the players making their way in a couple of hours ago now. France looking to bounce back from a game that went on past midnight last night local time. They lost 3-2 to Serbia in front of a home packed crowd. For Poland, the double reigning world champions. 2018 was a great year for this Polish team. Now they are aided by Wilfredo Leon. But they were upset on Thursday night in Ljubljana in front of a rocking crowd in Slovenia. France going through their preparations, won this competition in 2015 and they're looking to claim back their title that they lost to Russia two years ago. Engerpeth still smiling, 28 points last night for Irvin you know, Engerpeth. Paris, how do you players feel for this bronze medal match? Maybe the same like the French guys. Mm, we were hoping for gold and to play for gold. It's not like that, so I think it will. It's a very nice challenge for my player to show that you also find bronze very important. So I think both teams will not feel 100%, and both teams will fight for bronze. So in that way, it's a very interesting game. <laughs> a little bit uh, tired and uh, and sad after the semi final from yesterday, and we finish late and late at, at, at bed. But this morning we talk about uh, bronze medal, about the box, about the, the dream, about the spectators, about the atmosphere. And you know, it's uh, pump up a little bit more. And uh, I don't know what will happen, but we will give us, we will, we will give our best for uh, this bronze medal. Both coaches having their say before the toss happened um, to go. Interesting to hear Vitor Heinen just speak about how they're going to fight for bronze, but they're disappointed. Poland expect to win every competition they enter. And France, well, you could see the disappointment in the voice and the body language of Laurent Tilly, who played 406 times for France. But this is a home competition. They'll have to fight this evening against the Polish side. Who fly to Tokyo, Japan tomorrow to play in the FIVB World Cup? It's a tough, busy schedule. France are done with their international season after this game, and the players will go back to their clubs in a week or so after taking a quick break and holiday. Well, this is the 12th time that they've met in Euro Volley. Poland have won nine, France have won three, so it's Poland that have the slight initiative going into this game on the head-to-head -head record. It's coming our way in just around 10 minutes time. Well, just a recap of those semi-finals, Slovenia upset the Polish apple cart 3-1. Slovenia two nights ago. Now Slovenia travelled to Paris to play that final against Serbia, who battled through France last night, some really big performances from Serbia, especially in the blocking department. So Serbia, Slovenia play in that final here tomorrow evening. France and Poland playing for bronze right here, right now in what a lot of people thought would be the gold medal match at the start of the competition. France suffering with a few injury problems, Kevin Tilly. Missed out yesterday after injuring his leg in the quarter-final. There's a rumour that also Lionel is suffering. So France on the outside may be a bit short of cover. Tilly not jumping at the moment, receiving in the warm-up. Before the game, he said, you'll see how it feels. But Boya and Engerpeth were set a high percentage of balls last night. Lionel suffering an Achilles injury in the opening set. Kevin LaRue just about to spike over the net. 
wasn't served too many sets last night as France struggled to gain control of the reception. Poland welcome Wilfredo Leon, who's in his second month of playing internationally. There is Wilfredo Leon. 26 years old of Cuban descent, but now playing for Poland, four-time Champions League winner. He left Zenit Kazan to play a play in Italy. Pavel Zatorski also won to watch the libero, best libero at the 2018 World Championships. And Irvin Engerpeth, 28 points last night for Engerpeth, who took Leon's spot in a Zenit shirt last season. Leon and Engerpeth will be an interesting battle. The battle of the liberos as well. Two of the best in the world. Genia Grabinikov, 10 times an award-winning libero at international and club level. Well, here is the Polish side. Eight of their squad that won the world championships last year in 2018. Nikowski, number one, will maybe start in the middle of Torski the libero, but watch out for number nine, Wilfredo Leon. Arthur Schulpuk may be coming off the bench. He played a big part in 2018, but didn't play in the semi-final. For France, you'd expect to see Tony Uti, the captain, start as a setter. Kevin Tilly, as we just said, is struggling with injury. LaRue, maybe Le Goff will start number 14. Barthelemy Chiniesi came off the bench last night. Boya and Engerpet should start to Alenkrev on the left and Boya on the right, playing as the opposite spiker. Poland after winning each of their first seven matches. They'd won 11 in a row until Thursday evening when Slovenia caused the shock of the competition after beating Russia, the 2017 champions. Wilfredo Leon has won everything almost at club level. But Leon last won an international competition in 2011 for Cuba. If you look at that Cuban team, the likes of Robert Landy, Simon, Osman A. Juan Torreira, Yuandi Leal as well, who now plays for Brazil. They would have some side. But Leon now playing for Poland. We'll be up against Engerpeth, and if you remember, in just six weeks or go or so, Poland beat France in the Olympic qualification competition. And France were not overly happy with the scheduling of that tournament. They had to play late on night one early on day two against Poland. They said that made them suffer a defeat or definitely helped towards it. The fans still coming in. Poland as always seriously well followed. France at home. Well, Vital Heinen, success has followed him wherever he goes. Success with Germany, Fidrikshaven and Belgium. Now he's the head coach of Poland. He's demanding. As is that man there, Urban Engerpeth. Poland looking to win their first Euro volley medal since 2011. It will be tough though against the home side France. Mesdames et messieurs, nous allons passer à l'hymne national de la France. Mesdames et messieurs, pour une Marseillaise que vous n'oublierez jamais.
incredible. France playing at home. This a rematch of the 2009 Euro Volley Final, 3-1 one, one by Poland that day in Turkey. France won their most recent Euro Volley match up against Poland, but that was all the way back in 2013. Some history between the two sides, though, as we get ready to meet at the start in six. First, as always, the referees for this one. A great picture. Stephen Leiner will be in charge of this bronze medal match. Well, the lights are off and we know what's coming now. The CEV have put on an incredible show over the last month. The Women's European Championships, followed by the men's. Final four weekend, the CV Euro Volley 2019. Now it's time to meet the players. Starting in the middle, Pietor Novakovsky gets a start as well, like he did on Thursday. Ashe Muzai will start as the opposite, the left hander, so no starting place for David Konarski, who played a large percentage of that semi final game. Fabian Driska will play as the setter. Torski, the libero, Binek will play as the other middle spiker opposite Novakovsky. Kubiak, Emil Fredo, Leon will play on the outside. Strong for Poland, missing Kurek, missing Bednorsch, and also missing Womash, who are travelling to the World Cup. Well, for France, the captain, Zax's player of the Polish League last year, Benjamin Toniuti. Starts as a start for Irvin Engerpet once again. Kevin LaRue, the blocker who played in Brazil last season. Stefan Boria will play on the right side, so it's looking very similar for France. But there is one change, and that's because number 17, Trevor Cleverno, will make a start because of the injury problems to number seven, Kevin Tilly, and also Julian Lionel. Benikoff, as always, will play Libero. The cohort of this French team have been playing together for some time now through the junior ranks. Tony Uti, Engapeth, Larue, Rabinikov, Tilly, to name a few. Engapeth, watch out for him. He was on fine form yesterday evening, although he was two from seven in the attacking statistics of the game in set number five. Vito Heinen, the head coach of Poland, World champion coach now will be coaching Perugia indoors and Laurent Tilly with this team as well from 2012. 406 caps sporting family the Tillys. His son Kevin is on the bench this evening. His wife also a professional volleyball player. So we are just about to get underway. And then Engerpeth to serve first in a battle between Poland and France. And Engerpeth gets us away with an ace work towards position. Tatorski. 
holding position six, put to the floor. Caught slightly cold, you think? And for Engerpeth tonight, it's another chance to take on Wilfredo Leon. Remember, Engerpeth took Leon's place at Zenit Kazan this season. And France, just like they did last night, off to a great start. A push from Le Goff into Cleveno because Cleveno will be given some confidence by that first block against Mazai. The left-hander was replaced by Konarski. In Slovenia, Leon served short out of system, but Leon is a pro at hitting out of system, but waiting is Engerpeth, and now he's getting so much ball early on. First touch for Grebenikov. The golf covering. Oh, what a touch from the libero, but Cleveno. Can be so happy with the way that he started this game. Two points from his opening two opportunities. Opens up on the arm swing, buries it on the cross court. Engerpeth wants to put on a show this evening by the looks of it. Speaking to Kevin Tilly beforehand, he was saying that quite a lot of the players last night didn't go to sleep until 3 or 4 a.m. And that was because the adrenaline was still pumping from last evening's game, which is completely understandable as the fans still coming in here. There's a lot of Polish as well. And for Poland, a lot of them, a lot of their fans have had to change their tickets from Sunday to Saturday because they were so confident they were going to make the final. First point for Stefan Boya. Off of Wilfredo Leon, Tony Uti running that ball a long distance quick and because of the speed of the set, Leon isn't quite penetrating. Vito Hayden. Obviously disappointed in his pre-match interview. He's very animated in Libuana. On the reverse pipe, so quick. Tony Uti pulling the strings. And France, so far, showing absolutely no signs of a hangover from last night's match. Tony Uti drawing that ball back to Engerpeth. It's a great set to try and lose the middle blocker. For Poland, they did struggle through the middle. Slovenia passed really well on Thursday, and they scored so many points going off the drifting middle blockers. Fred Leon was the top scorer in Poland's semi-final. 22 points, 98 in this competition so far, not 99 as of yet. Four aces though for Leon in that game. And pound for pound for many, the best in the world, but he went to Prusia to try and show that he could win a Champions League without Zenit Kazan, but neither Zenit Kazan or Prusia won the Champions League. Vitor Hayden now with Bruger as well, that's another error for Poland. So Hayden will be coaching Leon at both levels and going forward to the Olympic Games next year. It's frightening to think that Bartosz Kurek will come back into this Polish team with Leon on the left-hand side. Better through the middle for Poland. It's something they didn't do so much of on Thursday, but Dziska, good time. Lots of red and white in the stand. It was all one way in the fan department last night. LaRue turns one back. It's a great turn. He almost shows Poland position one in the air before just twisting the ball back to position five. Just there.
Leon out of system. Kubiak to the outside. He plays in Japan now, which is lucky because the World Cup is being hosted there next week. Engerpeth looking for a decision. There's a net touch against Poland. So France take the point. Big smiles from Engerpeth as well. LaRue with the pancake defense. And that's just Engerpeth, as we've seen before, getting uber creative out there already. 9-4, it's Poland that need the timeout already. We have to start, fight and play, this is not fighting. This is like just giving away. A demanding character, Hennen, but completely right. And he says, so far, they're giving it away. Over 12,000 in here last night, Yukura Hotels Arena. LaRue started in two sets serving for France and got them off to great starts against Serbia. It's another rocket. Leon is getting served a lot of ball, which is no surprise, but Leon being picked on maybe to be overloaded, maybe to take him out the attack as well. Just being picked on to pass, but the opposite, Mazai, lethal with the left hand. Tony Uti, the Boria. Fired well in the opening set, Stephen Boria, yesterday, but had struggles coming back to the line last night. They're taking a lot of angle there, Poland, trying to force Boria to the line. Oh, in the head, look off. France have started with a point to prove. Engerpet served to the inside, Tony Uti. It's exactly why they're running that play, three or four meters to beat the block between the middle and the two blocker. Tip to the line. Mihal Kubiak playing that one rotation, 3-2. Long distances again from Driska. Great setting, trying to lose Lagoff, but because the pass is good, Lagoff committed with the middle. Good again from Engerpeth. Bit of DIY, but two spiking errors. Boria and Engerpeth have opened the door here for Poland. Slow start, but that little nudge from Heinen has maybe just stirred the pot. No touch in the official review. Teams are allowed two of the official reviews. If the decision is overturned, they keep their challenge. If not, they lose it. So France have just lost one. Tap points, interesting stat already, 60% to 43. Serve down the line to Engerpeth. That's potentially just to try and send the ball to the outside towards Boya. He wasn't as comfortable hitting from the left side as he is the right, and it makes it difficult for Tony Uti to really use Engerpeth unless Engerpeth passes the ball into position three and loses the middle block. Boya does a great job finding the line. CV Congress also happening this week, so lots of the federations in town. Out from Engerpeth. Another challenge from the French. This time, the question is whether the ball was in or out from the service line. Way out is the correct answer. 
strong start from France. Peck back from Poland. Remember, Tilly injured. They're now not fit either. Injury problems through position four, but Klavano has started nicely opposite Engerpeth. Poland missing Kurek, Bednosh, Womach as well, but six of this team are going to the World Cup in Japan. This time at through the right side. Error from Bowie. Yeah, this time set inside. The line is open again. They're taking that cross court area at every opportunity, Poland, because they feel that Bowie will struggle going to the line. So far, he's missed out two through that avenue. Big serves from the double reigning world champions, Cleveno. He's impressing so far, Cleveno. Coach Tilly is throwing his outside man in at the deep end. Tony Uti on the chase again. Has to go high to keep the ball under control. Cleveno has to do the same, and he goes over the top. Gives a lot of time for three blockers from Poland to get involved. Leon, hello. And one on one, you fancy Leon every time. LaRue commits with the middle from Novakovsky. And that allows Leon to unleash on the cross court. Klavano can't get back quick enough, and you can't get three in the block when the pass is that good and that quick. Toniuti, quick tempo, Klavano looking for the decision, fingers pointing downwards, referee gives it, this game is starting to give us a little bit more at the moment. Oh yeah. Leon underneath the boy gets creative off the hands of LaRue. Who acknowledges the good play from Leon. He's underneath the ball, so if he tries to hit that one, his arm's not going to come through. The ball's going to go flying out the back. So he changes the speed of his arm, goes off the hands. Leon. Cleveno, it's been faultless so far, Cleveno. The build-up was all about Engerpeth and Leon, but there's trust there from Tony Uti. Cleveno's getting loads of ball. Cleveno with the serve this time. Chases on from Grebinikov, from off the net setting. It has to go to Engerpeth. And Engerpeth is potentially the best in the world and staying high and going off the hat. LaRue doing well to get across and get a positive touch on the block. And this is exactly what happened with Slovenia, going off the inside hand of the middle blockers. This time, Kubiak does exactly the same. For Trevor Cleveno, it's a good service run from him. Playing for Piacenza in Italy, just 25 years old, but part of the squad for a long time through 2015 World League, 16 and 17, but with the likes of Tilly Linnell and Engerpeth on the outside, it's been difficult for him to really establish himself. Engerpeth passing perfectly, LaRue behind. Well done from Poland defensively. Muzai with the defensive play and then the opposite trying to create pressure for France, but it's Engerpeth in system. Now it's Boria. Boria stopped by Kubiak out on the wing. Slightly scruffy at times, this one. Grabenikov always seems to be in the correct position. Boya, the ball just dropping inside again. Seeing that is Kubiak. He's making reads based on what he sees. Blocking is certainly not guesswork. Oh, 
the support for Poland once again. Boya finds Joy eventually. Pass is strong from Engerpeth, two and a half. Loves crushing angle, Boya. Split in the block, he's always going to try and hammer the seat. Kubiak's frustrated because he probably feels he should have dropped in there and taken the space away. Oh, off the shoulder, hello. LaRue going back to Boya. This time he tries to hit the same angle. Kubiak takes it away from him. Away from the body. Off the shoulder though for Boya. Although he's only ever going to hit the cross court. Two in the block waiting for him. Bianek. Already you feel like France are using the middle more than they used it yesterday. So much ball went through Engerpeth and Boya, but trying to get Lagoff into the game. This time he goes to five, having gone to one of the previous set that way. Mazai this time on the left side. He's going to have a battle for that right side position, playing opposite for Poland against Bartosz Kurek. Kurek and Leon will be scary, but the depth of Poland and their squad is also frightening. Point lead, step up, Engerpeth. Kopenikov just digs. Leon, three up in the block. Leon helping out. Oh, Leon turns to his adopted fans. It seems to be a relationship they're both going to love over the next few years. Leon, great footwork to get across. Tentative touch from Boya. Tony Uti, close, but not this time. Mateus Bianek. Another one that plays for Zaxa alongside. Benjamin Tony Uti, the French setter, Lagoff, change for Rossiard. Another miss serve from Poland, they missed a few here. out of system. Leon stopped three in the block, trying to take away all the angles. Once again, Cleveno, even in the blocking, he's a bit puzzled underneath that one, but Cleveno so far, yet to make any errors. Leon tries to hit that sharp angle, but Cleveno's footwork is good enough to get him there quick enough. And Mazai, once again, hammers towards position six. LaRue just a little bit late getting across, but that just could be, maybe, because Wilfredo Leon is playing on the other side. Type attack from Kubiak, who decides to set it off the head. Leon brings Poland back all square. Here comes the boom. Reading the play really well. Novakovsky. Leon, huge swing, perfect from Grabenikov. Boya goes back to the angle, sitting behind the block, Engerpeth takes the initiative, but that's Doug as well from Kubiak, Leon, that's Doug from Grabenikov, and then finally there's another block. No 
Novakovsky. On two, Engapev. On three, Leon. Just all muscle between the two superstars. Novakovsky decides to stay up in the block. Good work from Poland. They've had to work hard after an early telling off from their coach. Timeout from Tilly now. Engapeth served. Laru. Just feels as if Tony Uti is just flooding the middle more than we saw yesterday. Lukovsky beaten this time, but he's done his job. Two blocks in quick succession. Boya. Going super aggressive, but this one. Means that Tony Uti is now on the front court, which gives an opportunity for Poland to attack over Benjamin Tony Uti. A double substitution was used yesterday around this time, but Wilfredo Leon to serve. Engerpeth overpasses. Poland lead by two. Wilfredo Leon, service pressure. Goes straight for Engerpeth. Forces the overpass. Poland dictating again. Wilfredo Leon. Starting to flourish here in Paris. Another robust serve. Engapath having to do the setting slightly inside. Smuggled through. Back setting from the libero. Off the rail up, but it's tried to be worked off the body from Kubiak. And he misses out on the sideline. France back to one, but they need a break. Looks as if there is that change happening for the French Brizard coming in. Satorski, the libero, chasing hard. Changes all around as. Ziska comes back in, Konarski leaving. Trevor Klevener. Serving with France, one down. He's had a wonderful start to this bronze medal match. Klevener to serve. Serves to Leon, but the angle from Leon is good. It opens up all the attacks, passing essentially Engerpeth. Three up against him, Engerpeth somehow finds a way through. Where well, Leon at times is power and angles. Engerpeth is creativity and vision. Takes Kubiak on, who has the longest distance to travel to block that ball. Therefore, a better chance for Engerpeth to score. Timeout now from Vital Heinem. It's the second one for Poland. Seems a lot happier in the way that he's operating now after a slow start from Poland. And how about Trevor Klevener? He's made blocks so far. Points on the outside. And now Cleveno will serve post timeouts. The fans from France and Poland having their own battle as well. 
Lee on the target, passes into three. Mazai is dug. Chance in transition, Engerpeth chasing hard. Three up again, this time. The Polish block doing its job. Engerpeth from the more central position. Stopped. Klevner this time sat at six playing defense, but it's Engerpeth trying to find a solution off the block, not this time. Novakovsky serving with Poland one in front. Four blocks so far from Poland. Interesting stat because Serbia last night took 16 against France to the line. Engerpeth almost leaves a dent in the floor. Ouch, Mazai, no digging that one this evening in Paris. Now Kevin LaRue fires far too long. Served really well over the past couple of evenings. LaRue. Fabian, Tliska, Kubiak comes off. The captain of Poland, Arthur Schalbuk from Skrabel, Hatov comes in. Didn't play in the semi-final, Schalbuk, but was a big, big player. 2018 World Championships. Serving for the first set, Grabinikov picked out straight down the line to one. Engerpeth goes sharp, it's a great dig from Zatorski, but the ball disappears out of play. We go to overtime here. Rabinikov keeps his nerve with a great angle of the arms into position three. Makes it easy for Tony Uti. And I'm watching every single play back. 24, fast play on the pipe with Fredo Leon. Plucked from Cleveno, who's had an outstanding game so far. Second time on the right side. Kubiak delivers. Fast play, no block for Leon, which makes it even better defense from France. Second time, Legoff not quite getting across. Kubiak knows he's one on one. Second set point for Poland. To position one again, Tony Uti, fast plays. Cover from Tony Uti, strong again. Engerpeth shut down, Grabenikov! What even was that? Leon! Puts Poland 1-0 in front in fine fashion. It's an unbelievable rally. But the double reigning world champions go one set to zero up here in Paris. France are battling. And there's still so much action coming our way. But it's Poland that lead 1-0. What a rally to finish the opener. First Tony Uti plucks it up from nowhere. But this from Grabinikov somehow gets solo underneath the ball. Keeps the dream alive for France, but once again, Leon crushes the dreams with a spike off the hands of Engerpeth. Well, there's confirmation of the score. Two-point game, but Poland Take it in overtime. The match statistics from the opener. One ace for France. More attacks offensively, but also more errors. And that's what's cost them. Ten errors in the opening set. They need to tighten their grip to come back in the second. More stats as well. France, 18 winners, Poland, 16. 10 errors is a big, big start. If we have a look at some highlights. From set number one, there's a long way to go in this game, though, that's for sure.
some passing stats for us as well. 36%. Remember, they're missing Kevin Tilly, France, who he was passing at 48% perfectly, which is very, very strong. The error count too high from the French. Fredo Leon. Much improved from Thursday. Some were saying that Leon didn't quite play at what he's capable of by Leon's standards, but this evening he served well. He's made some great points at key times. Engapet too. There's Bienek to get us underway in the second set of the CV Euro Volley 2019 cover. Pancake defense from Kubiak playing at five. Leon on the fade into the net. Engerpeth trying to get involved in everything. Potentially when he's passing, he's going to build more rhythm for his attack. Leon, 26 years old, hasn't won that international competition since 2011 we're playing. For Cuba. Nicholas Le Goff to serve. Leon stop to LaRue and Boy. Double trouble. Out of position two. France off to another fine start, but it's deja vu. It happened last time in the previous set, and it happened multiple times last night against Serbia. Goff serving again, 2009 CV, under 19 European champion alongside those World League medals and European Championship as well. Poland on the scoreboard again. Passing on to Poland, we see that a lot off the float serve. They try and release Leon to score. That's exactly what happens off the hands. But passing on two with Zatorski and Kubiak, still very manageable for Poland. Engerpeth getting served so much of the ball. Hitting back on the angle with Boya. It's a sharper angle though with his body line facing more square up. Engerpeth seeing so much of the ball in the reception of the service tactics from Poland. Boya with his feet very close to the line. Over the line from the first referee. Boya, formerly of Chamon in the French League. Alfredo Leon. goes after Leon. They fancy their chances of just serving Poland out of system. If they go on, Leon almost cut back from Engerpeth. Zatorski does his job. Poland just left looking at each other. Engerpeth will take that one all day long. Three up in the block, so he decides to take the libero one. He's just sat on that sharper angle as soon as the three-man block gets together. Zatorski This time Zatorski's put on the floor by Klevenet. Tony Uti, the setter, is just a change of tactics there with Tony Uti on the front. Engerpeth is blocking in the middle, LaRue blocking at two. You just see here, Tony Uti decides not to block. LaRue tries to take Kubiak on. Kubiak knows that situation and he knows he can go off the hands of LaRue and just test if LaRue is formed and penetrating.
Poe stopped by Pole. Kubiak and Bionek, double trouble. Taking the cross court angle away. Mikowski. Engerpeth passing fast to keep. Poland moving and guessing. Boria this time. Does unleash to the line. Engerpeth loves playing quick, loves playing with flair, but that's all about Boria. Toniuti's job made easy as well. Lean out, smiling. Laru. This time, Engerpeth. It's just intriguing to see how the game is being run here by Tony Uti. Using the middle, sharing the workload on the outside, and that's just making Bnex's job a little harder. The good passing from France means he has to hold with the middle a little bit longer before releasing to the pin. The passing improving here for France, and that's giving Tony Uti a free reign to do what he wants, but he's beaten low to his right-hand side. High out of system play for Poland. Kubiak, this time from the right. Kubiak. Clever no. Great defense from Poland. France threw everything at that one. And then Anger Path puts the blocker on the floor. Still smiling, Anger Path. Before he goes back to serve. Tony Uti just moves that ball back to the pipe and Poland don't expect it. All the blockers shifting to the right hand side. Engerpeth does the rest. Leon. What an answer to Engerpeth from Leon. The steepest angle of the evening so far. You can have 15 defenders on the court. Not one of them would dig that ball. Bionic wide of the sideline. Engerpeth still leading with Tony Uti in there. Design. Set slightly low and inside, so he just uses the ball through the two blockers. And that's just the play having a purpose. It's quick enough to try and rush LaRue, so if you're not going to hit that ball hard, at least try and tip through the blockers. And just see if LaRue can get across and block. Mazai with the serve, the outside to Levena. Near on perfect Cleveno this evening. This time, the split in the block of Poland was seen absolutely crushed. Gabinikov just moving with the play to the middle, adapting his position all the time. Boya oh yeah, chasing, swatted back. Engerpeth with the cover alongside Boya. Big rally this one. Leon has the last laugh. Vital Hayden almost on the court as well there with Poland. 
great reactions from Moria and Engelpath, who's just waiting on the floor, lingering after a play, but knee on. Polish fans making so much noise in here. Dealing with the serve. Wide setting again. But this time, the block is from Poland. Have the final say. They know it's going. Lemkowski, so good getting across. His arms operating outside of his body line, but dropping inside. Boya loves swinging on the angle. Poland know that they're parking two blockers on sharp angles. There's another bit of cover on Boya from Poland, who can't get past the block at the moment, but they hang in there, France. Clever note to serve, there's been nothing between the two teams all evening. Back to one from Clevenar, who's taken his opportunity here in Paris this evening. He's having a fine, fine game, this time off speed to the sideline. He's just beaten Wilfredo Leon on the short one. Time out from Hennon. Wilfredo, go for the ball. Everybody go. Every ball, guys. We never give up. That's one thing. It's just about fighting. For the rest, we play good, guys. Just go up. Poland. On the wrong side of a telling off from the Chief. Leon also getting a talking to. Cleveno again. This time takes pace off the ball because it's post timeout and it's just to try and keep the ball in play. So many people miss serves post timeout. That one's off the block and out of bounds. Poland with loose serving. Interesting. Eight service errors from Poland. Uh, sorry, from France. Six from Poland. Larue. Kubiak, the double Olympian, passing. Kubiak, he's had some career in Beijing, Panasonic Panthers, comeback anchor. He's played all the way around the world, but two gold medals. World Championship Volleyball. Alongside the modern day greats with Marius Flasway. Engerpath, no block. Absolutely zero respect from Engerpath. Fast to the middle. Good work from Dritska. Tony Uti. Speed to Engerpeth who tries to hammer one back on the sharpest angle, but to no avail. It's 
time, Clavado playing at position five, so Grabenikov can play six and just sweep up the play. Engapeth just tries to steer it. Such a great shot of him in the air. It's Kubiak, who made his debut in Polish volleyball 2005-2006 for Kubiak. 31-year-old. Touch off the hands of the Polish blocker. So we go to a challenge. Poland aren't happy about that. They are happy, the fans in the background, though. Great hats. No touch off the Zai. That point is changed. Goes into the hands of Poland. The French not happy. Polish fans doing absolutely stacks. As is Michał Kubiak. This time, Laurent Tilly wants a second look. We go back to the challenge referee. What do we? Point's definitely gone to Poland. Referee's blowing his whistle. Can we be back again? Pace off the ball, Engerpeth, perfect passing. Cleveno on the pipe, quick tempo. Poland in that situation, second best, but Tony Uti leaves Cleveno without a block. Lagoff doing his job, that's why he's celebrating, taking the middle blocker away from Poland, letting Cleveno come over the top. Bosch. Engerpeth. Engerpeth has got served so much of the ball this evening. Cleveno, two in a row for Cleveno, but he continues the play using the block. Kubiak again at five, just sits in. Leon, they had to buy their time. Poland, big, big reaction from Vital Heinen as well. Leon shows the cross court. Guides it to the line. So good, Wilfredo Leon. In both sets, Poland just seem to improve throughout the game. Much calmer from Hennon. Everything at the moment going to plan. Eight points for Leon. Great timeout for France and Tilly. The golf makes way. Means LaRue is now on the front court for France. Rossard. The left hander. Rip of a serve, but Poland, regulation side out play. Everyone turns. 
to the libero. Of course they do. Damien Vitoyshik shares that role with Zatorski. Angapeth out of system, it has to go to the outside. Three blockers, but it's an overset. Recycling the play, Poland. Leon tries to just sweep it back to the line. LaRue plays cover. Net touch against Mavikovsky. One of those rallies where everything just seems to be a little bit out of sync. Toniuti replaced, as we've seen often. Brazard comes in. Maria serving. France one behind. Leon! Leon has just played the last two balls to the line while showing this cross court angle. This time he's one on one. LaRue commits early, and Leon just works away from the body. Gromenikov on the floor. Leon serving. French bench. Look on, just under 7,000 fans in here this evening. A few less than yesterday. Satorski this time. Pass is rushed. Because the pass is rushed and out of system, the three blockers from France combine. Engerpeth just deciding to sit off on the tip, so he leaves it to two. Could have gone up in three if he wanted, but Brizard makes an impact. Clever note. Who's come into this side? Injuries to Lionel and Tilly. Fabulous job. Has to go to the wing. Engerpeth knows that. He's sat off. He's smiling at Kubiak. And then he goes and hammers off the block in Engerpeth style. Now he goes with the roundhouse windmill as well. Engerpeth is smiling because the crowd is cheering for him. Gets eco friendly with the first one, recycles it. And then hammers it away. That touches a challenge from Poland as France just edge into the lead. No faults. Net faults from Engerpeth. Vita <laughs> is still really unhappy here. It's pointing downwards, which potentially might mean that he's after some sort of fault from Engerpeth, not looking for the net touch. If you might go back to a challenge, and it's really animated, he might just get a card hit. There it is. Is it going Hayden's way? Yes, it is. Hayden's actually suggesting that he's seen something on the big screen. Just a warning. He's going to have to rein it in slightly. He's saying that he's seen something on the big screen that the ref hasn't. Regardless, Poland take the time at one point behind. France have worked hard here.
Clever note. Fanta fantastic atmosphere on here. Mazai. Rabinikov just holds. His weight's going backwards, but he stays firm with the arm. Serves long. Both teams just <laughs> playing off against one another. Kevin LaRue played for Sada Cruzario in Brazil last year. Serve goes long and out the back. So tied at 21 all. It's all just been trading till now. Now these guys have their suits on. It's business time. Here comes Kevin Tilly. He's struggling to jump yesterday in training, having spoken to him beforehand, speaking very much about how he wants to try and get on the court. It's a good pass from Tilly. Bowyer is dug from Zatorski. To the wings, Engapeth reacts, as does Brizard. Mihal Kubiak. Two gold medals in World Championship Volleyball. Looking to add a bronze. Strong cross court. Emotional swing from the Polish captain. Fast from Engapeth, fast from Tony Uti to the middle to Lagoff. Oh, hooked out from Kibiel. That one's only ever going angle. The body's facing that way. Tony Uti looking for the hands. Engapeth, but he's frustrated. Shrug of the shoulders on the turn. Kubiak has just turned this set inside out for France. Poland. taken the lead. The approach work is so good. And through the seam from Kubiak. Had to get his skates on there though. The skipper of Poland. Tilly. Perfect reception again from Kevin Tilly. But it doesn't matter. Stefan Boria is stopped on the right side. Kubiak, again. Pass from Tilly into two and a half. Tony Uti gives it the width, it's one on one. And Kubiak just gets the line right on Boria. He knows he likes going from outside in, across the body. Tony Uti doesn't look impressed. Timeout from France. The wheels have fallen off again here for Laurent Tilly. And Le Bleu. Three point swing at crunch time. Polish fans, there's 11,000 of them in Apple. To go 2-0, Poland played so well over the past five minutes or so. Kubiak has been at the center of everything, but this time it goes to Mazai. Lagoff gets across, makes one back for France. It's a monster block. Hands just finish inside. Still more blocks. For Poland. Second set point to go 2 0 here. Poland have been phenomenal at the end of the second set. 
If it's not Leon, it's Kubiak. And it looks very, very good from here. Poland through the middle. Delighting their traveling fans. Well, there's the confirmation. 26, 24, 25, 22. Double reigning world champions, Poland. Michał Kubiak. Let's talk about him for a moment. Insane at the end of that set. Some stats. More winners from Poland. Errors are the same. Blocks are the same. More clinical at the net. Kubiak and Leon, but all the talk about Leon. France 2 0 down as the music from the Titanic enters the arena. France will be hoping that their performance rises in set number three as we have a look at some highlights. shots as the crowd enjoy Titanic cam in the arena for a very loud atmosphere it's quite eerie to be part of this it's a completely different feel to it but at the moment it's the French performance that's hit an iceberg Substitutes warming up. Looks as if Tilly starting this set with Lagoff. Potentially not. Maybe he's just being a great teammate and keeping everybody else going around him. Slovenian fans are here. Of course, there are over 3,000 tickets for Slovenia. A new, very popular sport in their country, taking 70% of the viewing figures. Their semi-final victory against Poland. It's an incredible atmosphere. Engerpeth starting, Tony Uti, Lagoff. Looks as if there's a star for Jean Petri. reception. Stats would say that Poland is slightly better out of system. The errors have been better from France. That opening set making 10 errors was far too many. Big pause in between sets two and three. Phoenix starting Muzai, Mankowski. Two liberos stay the same. Zitska starters the center. Poland have a lot to be happy about, looking for that first medal in a Euro Volley campaign since 
2011 Engelpet starting at position one. Means that Tony Uti starts at six and John Petrie has come in for Stefan Boria, which is understandable, trying to find some more balance to that right side. France trying to score more points on that right side. Boria stopped by Kubiak a few times. Engerpeth passing perfectly. Look off in the game early on. That will encourage France. It's not been their start that's been the problem. It's been how they finished sets. The start has been really good every single set this evening. Tony Uti on the turn, just fizzes it towards Lagoff. And a missed serve from Lagoff. Goff, who's played for Montpellier, Berlin, Istanbul. Berlin are recycling volleys as well. This time Engerpeth passing way out of system. John Petrie with his first opportunity. Leon goes long, but they're looking for the touch. The first referee happily gives that decision. LaRue not happy with this one. We going into a challenge, yes we are. They're looking for a net touch. You can see that Vita Heinen enjoys his job. So far Ingepeth 13 points. Top scorer Kubiak 12, Leon 9 as we have a little fish to see what's going on out there at the moment. Laurent Tilly. Everyone waiting, a little bit confused. Absolutely no fault is the answer. No one over. on the game. Twenty-six twenty-four, twenty-five twenty-two. The opening two sets. Clevenock can't convert the first time. Gets really well across to get the three man block in. from Azai, flies at the back. David Konarski played a large percentage of the semi-final. Mazai didn't really find a rhythm or form. As soon as that ball's out of rhythm for him, he finds it difficult. Konarski came on, we'll run a quicker tempo. Always looking for the hands, but you'd think that Kurek would take that place towards Tokyo 2020. And Vital Heinen took the job over from for Poland, said that an Olympic medal was what he was after. It's ambitious, but he's got Leon as well on the outside. Once again, he's just feasting. Still hasn't scored as many as Kubiak, but the fact that Kubiak is such a threat at the moment is only going to make life easier for Leon. They're worrying about everything else. LaRue commits with the middle, whether it was on the pipe or the center attack, who knows. Leon, Gabinikov with the perfect pass. Tony Uti with the perfect set as well. The reason why it's perfect is it's on such an angle from the sideline to position three that brings the opposite back in to the game. Block's always playing second best there in the middle. Novakovsky scrambling to get across. There's a gap in between the block or on the outside as well, but it's good from Tony Uti. Clevenock. 
tries to go up with the spin serve and then change the contact to a floaty one. It's unfortunate for Poland. Lomachowski plays for Gdansk. Alongside, I say, Mazai. Two players from that club. Calm before some sort of storm here in Paris as LaRue really tries to open up on that one and give it some gas. Something inside on Engapeth, he has to take that ball back. And the reason they're working that from Engapeth is to try and take away the sharp angle, and that's why he's smiling. There's almost a question there to say, hey, we're gonna serve you inside, take time away from you, and see if you can still hit back sharp angle. That's some swing. Both taking the line block on, trying to force him that way, and he steers it the other. Chases on. Clever no. Again, in every aspect, but it's Leon. Wilfredo Leon. He's up at 370 in the air, Leon. Clevano with the defense, but a free ball using the pipe because Le Goff has gone with the middle. Free space, free net. Grabinikov, once again, perfect. Cleverno this time on the pipe, working away from the body. It's been tough in Paris for France. Some of the players not being able to rest last night after such a big game and 12,000 fans. after we saw that audacious swing from Leon. Takes pace off the ball and seals another point for Poland. Le Goff again committing to the middle. It's a sign that Poland are passing well. Leon is getting too many one-on-ones. Grinikov. Great zone, jean Petri. This time, hits back across his body. Le Goff will serve. Mazai. Not for the first time in this game, has just shown that he can be versatile, make good decisions based on the purpose of the play. Leon blocked from Betray, just reaching inside, just dumping the ball through the split in the seam of the block. Mazai's good at that. Clever note. With the hammer. It's another point for Cleveno. Who at the end of set two had scored four points. There's a couple more to that tally. It seems like he scored more than that. John Petrie steps on up for France, who really need to start scoring some points to get back into this bronze medal match of Euro Volley. Oh, jump setting from Grabinikov, just so flary. But unfortunately for France, the whole of the Polish team knew that one was going out to the wing to Cleveno. Three blockers, Leon getting across as well. The line is sealed from Dritska. And for France, 
it's difficult to play until midnight last night. Recover for a few hours before playing again. For Poland, they've had an extra day off to freshen up. It's exactly the same concept of what happened in Poland for the Olympic qualifier. France had to play Slovenia until late on Friday evening to play Poland at one o'clock the next day. They had more rest today though. Kaziska, Novakovsky, Tim Klevino hammering the inside of Kubia, but that's some set. One-handed in the path of the middle spiker. Poland are flying. No blockers in sight from France. Novakovsky. Rabinikov again with a great platform. He just holds it there for days and it allows Tony Uti to get some timing off the platform, showing and orchestrate another attack through LaRue. Great feat from LaRue to come from position two and to get around and shape that ball back to five. It's not easy for a middle player at position two. Sharp. Muzai. It's been really effective. The left-hander. And that's also due to the fact that Poland are scoring freely out of position four. Kubiak is going well. They're using the middle, and it's just making the job of Muzai a little better. Drifting block, Jean Petri. Tony Uti playing from left to right. It looked as if Engerpeth wanted that one, but Petray on the 10 attack. Potentially what Tony Uti is doing. Poland are expecting Tony Uti to use Engerpeth on the front, but they're not left-hander on the outside. Stopped. Kubiak this time on the right. We've seen power from him. Now we see him just try and work through the hands. Engerpeth getting Engerpeth. Three up again from Poland. Leon's doing a wonderful job at getting across and making it tough for the wing spiker. Portray that time. Leon, great feet from Wilfredo and Leon to get across to that wing spiking position. Has to block, makes three. Has to really get his skates onto position four. Vita Heinen can be really proud of his team this evening. Poland expect to win gold every time, but it looks as if they're gonna take bronze. Some time to go yet, but. Paris hasn't been as happy of a hunting ground for France. Good performances in on the three. Zero win against the Italians in the quarterfinal. A great performance of Amboya that evening scoring 25 points, four aces in a row as well. But since then, it hasn't quite taken off for one of the home nations or the home nation of the final for Poland. Three points up here. There's another chance for Leon on the front court. Donny reacts. They'll look for a hand over here, France. It's not being given. There's an overpass from them. The fans starting to celebrate. Although they were celebrating for a few hours here in Paris. Partying hard as always. Bienek straight down. 
Four point lead now. France have to dig deep. Clevenup into a good spot. Tony Uti. Sets with speed to Engerpet. Flat. Flying ball. Once again, trying to drag the middle blockers around, trying to make the blockers drift in the air. Engerpet scores, but he's not smiling anymore. Engerpeth, some noise as he goes back with an ace. Just when France needed one from their star map. He delivers. They need more though. It's another rocket from Engerpeth. Jaliska plays really quick to the wings as well, sitting deep, way out the back. Tip seat, Grabenikov makes the dig, sitting for that touch. There's Kubiak at position six. That's why he's sitting out of the court, is to play for the touch if there's a touch off the block. If there's a split in the block and they go after the seam, he's also expected to sometimes fill that position as a defender. Looks as if he's picked up a slight injury, which will worry the coach of Poland, especially with the World Cup coming next week. Kubiak going back to Japan where he plays his club volleyball, but playing for Poland first. <laughs> Time out from Poland. It looked as if everything was going their way, didn't it, moments ago? A three, four point lead, and then Engerpeth puts the ball away, and then he gets on a service run. And now they're under the cosh again. They still lead by one, but the momentum's starting to really go back in the French direction. three-point swing after three-point swing. That's not overly healthy volleyball, but France won't mind as long as they take this into the fourth set. Scooped up to the outside, Leon hammering through. Reactions with the right hand, world class. And Leon just making a good decision to go through Klevenuk. Kubiak's right hand. From the outside, Poland dominating again. Wilfredo Leon makes a kill in the previous point. Then makes a monster block. Big closure on Petrie. Great finish from Leon. And the finish line is certainly in sight. Grimenikov. Wide to the wings, Cleveno just picks it, steers it off the hands of Mazai, and that's because of the setting from Tony Uti. Tedexuri to the outside, takes it a little bit later. Cleveno off the hat. Back to two. Sai Hammer's angle. So strong from Tony Uti. He knows he hasn't got a block in the way, so he has to step up and try and take that space defensively with his body. But Mazai, one on one. 
beats Tony Uti. Which you'd expect, but Tony Uti puts up a big fight, as does the referee. Engerpeth passing into good zones. Engerpeth again. That's an absolute belter from Engerpeth. Good passing. No block because Chinesi took that away. John Patrick. Poland's passing. That's ideal from them. And Leon has been unstoppable, hasn't he, at times? Damien Vitoyshek was. Also instrumental in that pass. Rocket from Leon. So tight, there's a bit of a joust, but Leon now playing defense. Outside Kubiak getting creative. Clever no off the hands. John Patrice steers it back. And just France are holding on here for dear life. Back to two. Chimiezi. It may be a continuation from Cleverno, but scooped out with the set for Chinese. He just finds Petre. Not the cleanest volleyball, but it'll do. Cleverno. This time into the net, and Poland are five away from taking. Their first Euro Volley medal since 2011. That was a bronze that year as well. They obviously haven't won this competition since 2009, which is a long time for Poland. It's the only time they have won it. But. Engerpeth passing well. Chinese. Again, it's a two point game. France really have to believe in themselves in these closing stages. But Poland, they've passed into good zones for long periods of time. This is Kubiak, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Nods all around here, but once again, Kubiak doing the DIY, passing from the inside, hammering back angle. He's one-on-one -on, -one on the wing. Leon stepping up. Grabenikov having to close some space himself. Engerpeth. We stay. At a two-point game. Engerpeth looking slightly deflated here, but still finding solutions in tough situations. Two up, not much space. He goes off the middle blocker's hands. Was I a bit flustered as well? Blizzard to serve. Leon. Fantastic from Poland again. It's a huge serve from Rizan. Bionic puts the ball away, but it's Leon and his pass matched with Driska's setting and snap back. The golf trying to block position one. Kubiak, who's been one of the best players in the arena this evening. Engerpeth is something special. He's a big talent, creative, intelligent, you name it, he's got it. But France need a big push here. Engerpeth needs to deliver. And he goes long out the back. Maybe that's their last trump card. 
And now it's a three point game again. Lauren Tilly is running out of words. Mateusz Bionic to serve. Straight down the line to one. They've done that all evening to Engelpath. Try and get him out of the attack. Clever no one on one brings it back to two. Maybe there's just a small chance for France. Quick play, middle committed. Clever no one on one. He knows exactly what to do. Well, start to serve. They need something here, France. They managed to knock Poland out of system. The thing is, for Poland, they have one of the best, if not the best, out of system spiker in the world. They can afford to pass off the net when Leon hits angles against three blockers like this. The Polish fans are on their feet. They've traveled heavy once again in this competition. And it's an ace. Poland take the bronze medal here in Paris. It's a first medal for them at a Euro volley competition since 2011 when they took the bronze. The double reigning world champions are now the European bronze medalists. You have to feel for France, but that hasn't happened for them in Paris. Two defeats in quick succession. Last night against Serbia in an epic 3-2 battle. They've gone down to the world champions, Poland. Handshakes all round. Engapeth being plauded by Heinen. Lots of respect between the teams. But it's Poland who take the bronze. And they will be on the podium. Celebrations for a Polish team who have managed to leave Bartosz Gurek behind, Czegosz Rojmacz, and Bartosz Bednosz as well. But they have depth in their squad, disappointed to not be playing for gold. But they're a tight-knit unit with one of the best, if not the best coach in the world at the helm. Celebrations can begin, but they can't be too long. Poland take the bronze before traveling to Japan tomorrow to play in the FIVB World Cup. They defeated the hosts, France, three sets to zero. Fantastic performance from Poland to bounce back from that defeat against Slovenia in Libuana on Thursday. There are some statistics. More attacks from France, but the errors were costly. And blocking again from Poland, just like Serbia yesterday. Serbia made 16 blocks. Poland have made nine tonight in three sets. Wilfredo Leon was a top scorer of 18 points. Engapeth scoring the same. Kubiak also pitching in with a very valuable 14. There's some more stats for you on the screen. Winners and errors totals. We're just waiting to go down court side. After all of that, nine the post -match games in the interview. month of September, you finish with a bronze. How does that feel? Obviously, this is not the result that we all expected, but uh, medal is medal. So we are more than happy to win bronze. And uh, life is brutal sometimes, but uh, you have to take it as it is. What is it like playing with this group of players throughout this tournament, the Olympic qualifiers, and the entire summer? It's an amazing group. We, uh, it doesn't matter who's playing, we all supporting each other and uh, we do our best to win all the time. In this game, uh, we had ups and downs, but I feel like uh, we controlled the game from the very beginning, so we are happy. 
Thanks. Congratulations on the bronze medal. Thank you. Two-time Olympian Mihal Kubiak. Disappointed not to take the goal, but very happy with the team's performance to take the bronze medal. Some more stats for you. Excellent passing, the same percentage. Slightly better from France, but Poland so strong out of system. Alfredo Leon, the top scorer of 18 points. Very good when the pass isn't perfect. More errors from the French. We knew that 10 in the first set for France. Very uncharacteristic from them. Poland take the bronze medal. And there's confirmation from the bronze final. Three sets to zero. Serbia versus Slovenia will be some game here in the Court Hotels Arena tomorrow evening in Paris. It's been a fantastic competition. Throughout Europe, multiple cities, Poland are the bronze medalists here at Eurovolley 2019. Shots of celebration for Poland before we have the awards ceremony here, CV Euro Volley. to be involved as well. It's been a successful year or so under Vital Heinen for Poland. The World Championships last year where they weren't really expected to regain their crown beating Brazil. They were so strong throughout the competition. It was crazy because they were so good in that competition. They were going for gold here at Euro Volley. Carol Kors in your picture, who plays for Scarborough Hapton, was part of the 2014 team that won the World Championship. Missed out last year in 2018 due to a knee injury. International medal for Alfredo Leon. Last time he won a competition was in 2011 with Cuba. It's a chance for France to say thank you to their fans as well. World League performances through those couple of years as well. The last year or so has been slightly tougher for them, but their eyes will now be on qualifying for the Olympic Games in the qualification tournament in Europe, hosted in Berlin with Germany, Serbia as well. It's going to be very, very tough to qualify for the Games with that European spot. Poland are already there, having won their pool stage just six weeks ago. The world champions are confirmed Olympians again.
world champions in 74 in Mexico before doing the double in 14 and 18. 2009 European champions. Seven time medalists. Silver five times. Bronze medalists twice. They have now added a third bronze to that tally here in France for 2019. I mean, Vitoisek holding his little one. And as always, Poland travel in numbers. As the squads announced to the crowd. Kubiak, Lubowski, Konarski, Komenda who played a large percentage of the semi-final. Arthur Schalpuk, Leon, Damian Vitoyshek, Fabian Gliska, the setter. Alexander Zlika, who we saw in that semi-final as well. Back up, Kowanowski, a bright future. A middleman from Skra, a big player in the 2018 World Championship. Satorski, Mateusz Binek, and Karol Kors. Proud moments for Poland. Who really came for gold, led by Vital Heinen. They still have so much to be proud of. Only one game they lost in this competition to Slovenia. They were 11 unbeaten at that time. Their last loss before that, the VNL semi final against Russia. Mr. Renato Arena, the CEV Senior Vice President. Mr. Yasha Osbrick, the President of the Polish Volleyball Federation. And Mr. Thomas Milinarski, the Ambassador of the Republic of Poland to France. Will present the medals for Poland. Their heroes in their country. The double reigning world champions, celebrities. Volleyball, a major sport. Leon, a major player. Their bronze medal at Euro Volley 2019. Hux as well. The man from Belgium. Coaching Poland and doing a fine job of it as well. Poland. The bronze medalists here in Paris. Mr. Miroslav Propelski, the CV Board of Administration member, will present the Czech for third place. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for 
the trophy, let's welcome volleyball legend Thomas Wojtovic. Thomas, Thomas Wojtovic, the legend of volleyball, to remember the trophy to the team Polonaise. Will present the trophy. It's a big moment for Poland. Rotswell. And the trophy to the captain, Mikhail Kubiak. Michal Kubiak receives the trophy. A former Polish volleyball player, national team between 73 and 84, Olympic champion in 1976. Cheers for Poland and their coaching staff. They've taken the bronze here at Euro Volley 2019. Michał Kubiak presented with the trophy. And Poland. In hindsight, we'll be very happy to add another trophy to their collection. Fredo Leon makes a difference to this Polish team. The future is bright for Poland with three or four players still to add for the Olympic Games. Leon, the top scorer this evening. Alongside Engerpeth with 18 points, two of the finest players on the planet. Some photo that one as well. Gubiak, a legend, the captain, two time world champion with his nation, two time Olympian as well, next to Leon. The Polish flag flying very, very high. Carol Kors, always the character in the thick of it. <laughs> 